is going on guys, Achilles here, and we are going to be doing a quick, well not a quick, but this is a pretty long FE215B, uh, pretty much like compilation video, and these are some pretty sweet games I got in this tank, uh, you know, I've, I've just been really, 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 really enjoying this tank as of lately, and I'm pretty sure it's kind of taken the title as my, uh, my new favorite tier 10 heavy tank, uh, you know, it's not really the best heavy tank, uh, it, as I mentioned in my uh, tier 10 or the 215B actual tank review that I did, probably about two, or three, four weeks ago, and uh, you know these these are just some monster games I was having in this thing, and you know it's just it's one of those tanks that I feel that needs a special kind of driver, uh, you know someone who actually knows what what the strengths and weaknesses are of the tank. Like it's not one of those Zerg rushing. You just kind of get in there, get stuck in, and you can just kind of brawl with everyone. I mean, it can do that, but, you know, you're better off, you know, hold down behind a hill or, you know, just, you know, sniping from a distance, uh, you know, because this, this tank has what I think is the best gun in the entire game. And you're going to see here, this, these graphics just look absolutely amazing, man, like all this shadow work and stuff, and it's just... It's just absolutely fantastic. I, I just feel like the the wargaming Xbox community just did such a good job with the development of uh, you know all the 4K models on the on the tanks, the maps, uh, you know the weather effects. They're just absolutely fantastic. And you know a huge shout out to wargaming because you know this I feel like the, in the time that they've been around you know developing the Xbox edition, the fact that they put this much together in such a short amount of time. Uh, you know, we're pretty much caught up to PC in terms of, you know, like graphics-wise and stuff like that. If, if not even more technically advanced than the PC version is just because, you know, we have the rain variants and, uh, you know, we have all the tanks in HD. Uh, whereas they still have some tanks that are not in their full HD potential, but they're getting there. And not to knock on PC, uh, I thoroughly enjoy PC as well. Uh, I just feel like with the accuracy nerfs on PC, it just makes the game a little bit more random. And, uh, you know, I don't really think that's good for a game, to be honest. Uh, you know, some people may say that, you know, some ra it, you know it makes it so you're not just getting smacked by people with, uh, you know, super high accuracy guns. But, I mean, like, what's the fun in, like, knowing what you're doing and, you know, you per perfectly aim your shot and then it just completely goes screwball uh, just just because they nerf the accuracy on things. And, you know, it, you know I, I, I don't like randomness in a game. I like a game where, you know, I, I'm expecting an outcome when I do a certain thing. And uh, you know, having having more randomness in a game just make, doesn't make it very much fun for me. So that's why I've kind of been leaning towards Xbox a lot recently, or a lot more recently. And because you know, just these these graphics are just fantastic. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm making videos for you guys, and you know, it's just I feel like I'm just really enjoying myself on the Xbox uh, version of World of Tanks. But you know, pretty much here, you know, starting off, you know, this is a Pearl River encounter battle. And uh, right off the rip, you know, you can see I got hit by that E75. That was kind of a kind of a bad decision to kind of angle my hole out there and kind of stick it out there. It was a pretty easy shot for him. And then I got hit by Artie for like 300. But you saw there was a nice lead on that artillery here, and uh, we already cleaned up two tanks. And if you guys can, if you guys can see the map, uh, you know, me and me and my good buddy Priest Salty here are the only ones on this flank. And pretty much with my experience playing. Pearl River Encounter, I don't really enjoy playing this map on the Encounter variant. Uh, I absolutely love Pearl River when it's not on the Encounter variant. Just because I feel like there's so many like different areas of uh, engagement in on the Pearl River map. Like In the area we're going to, it's a pretty much a long distance battle with these TDs that sit on the hill. Uh, and you know, that's one of the biggest issues I have with Pearl River Encounter is that if you spawn in the south and you spawn on the, sp uh, the spawn in the, on the J line, pretty much no one really wants to push out right and everybody just goes and sits on the hill and watches the cap circle and it just, it's just not fun for me, to be honest, uh, just because I hate it when, you know, people just kind of sit out here or sit on the hill and then as you can see there, Death Star, super balanced, just hit pretty salty for like 1700 right there, super balanced. But, you know, as I, I digress, but, you know, Pearl River, it's just one of those maps that has an area for everyone. Uh, you know, the middle is more for the brawling, uh, you know, like heavy tanks and mediums and stuff. And then you've got the far northeastern part of the map where I feel that this is where most of the action goes down on the map. Uh, if not, everybody pushes down to the south line where uh, where we are right now. Uh, and as you can see right there, I don't know if that's, if that's just happening to me, but I've been getting some, like, weird textures on these rocks like I've been able to shoot people through the rocks right there as you saw like his name popped up red before I uh, before I even my cursor got 
above the rock to shoot him. So in theory, I probably could have shot him through the rock there. I don't know if that's just me or if it's happening to everybody. But, you know, right here, I'm just drilling these people. Uh, you know, this isn't the best game. Uh, the, the second gameplay I have for you guys is just absolutely phenomenal. I got it this morning, and uh, I was just I, I was so disappointed I didn't get the, uh, the amount of damage that I was hoping to get. But I won't spoil anything for you. But, as I digress, but the the northeastern part of the map where you've got the three lanes, uh, you know, I feel like that's the good spot on the, the leftmost lane. Uh, that's that's pretty much the spot for all the tanks with gun depression. Uh, you know, you can kind of play like peek -a boom you know, with like STBs and, you know, like patents and 62As and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I feel like that's just, that's pretty much their area, and then the middle area is pretty much the same. Uh, you know the middle lane, but you know the middle lane I feel like is really you know You're kind of confining yourself just because you're kind of squeezed between both lanes and they can just collapse on you at any moment So I like to stick to the leftmost one if you spawn uh, On the eastern side of the map and going up towards the northeast uh, I know you're probably confused if I'm talking about it coming from the north spawn But I am talking about coming from the south spawn so then and then the rightmost lane is pretty much for where all the heavies brawl and side scream and stuff so pretty much this map has a lane and an area for pretty much every single type of tank i feel that i like this map as well because artillery really doesn't play that much of a role if you can you know stick to the sides uh you know the middle is pretty much covered if you hug the walls uh along with the lane on the f northeastern side of the map you're pretty much covered and you're gonna see here i actually ran out of ap ammunition and uh, you know, I this 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 shot right here was a little bit questionable that you're going to see here on this tortoise. I, I'm pretty I'm, I I was almost certain that this was going to go in. I don't know, maybe I got bad RNG and hit his gun or something. But really disappointed after I after I donked this shot, and uh, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything. But the I, I just feel like Pearl River is just such a good map. Uh, you know, I know some people are kind of sick of it, and then as you can see, there's that shot I was talking about. Uh, I was trying to hit the, the the rightmost MG port right there. You can see, I think I bounced off the the cuff or like the collar around the actual MG port, and that's why I bounced and died. Uh, as you can see, I have quite a bit of pens there, and then we end up losing this game. Uh, pretty disappointing. I just kind of sat here and watched it, but you know, it's it's just. I mean, you can't, you can't do anything about it. But you know, I I feel like that the two and five B. I don't know if you guys have heard about the new perk stuff they've been introducing. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the full list, but there was one of them that introduced uh, the ability to carry more ammo, which I feel would be really useful on some tanks like the Batch Hat, uh, Batch Hat especially, and the and the 2 and 5B. Just because, you know, 35 shots, it seems like a lot, but, you know, when you're spitting out a shot every, like, 7.18 seconds like I am with my uh, Brothers in Arms, Vents, Gun Rammer setup and all that, you know, you you really are just just spitting out rounds, and you know this is just one of those tanks that I feel that you can take those risky shots that you wouldn't normally make, and you know that, that I don't know I've I've mentioned this before in my tank review, and I'm just like, it's it's a good thing that you can hit those shots, but it's also a bad thing because then you're going to be wasting ammo on you know tanks that you. you you wouldn't normally hit the shot, or just you're just gonna be wasting shots on tanks that you wouldn't normally hit. Uh, you know, maybe if, if they're at like some extreme range, or if you can see their, you can see like their hatch, uh, just the tippy top of their hatch over a hill or something like that. You know, you find your, I find myself sh trying to hit stuff like that, just because I have, just because this gun is just so fucking good. Uh, you know, you're gonna see here in the scoreboard. Uh, I was just kind of looking at my stats there for like win rates and stuff. Then you see a 6k game. Uh, you know, it wasn't anything too fantastic, but I just wanted to show you guys that gameplay just to show like how good the 2 and 5b is at, you know, sniping and, you know, it, it, it can side scrape. Uh, you know, I was taking a gander there or taking a risk when the 2 and 5, when the 183 had the potential to shoot my side armor just because the uh, 100, the Death Star's gun will overmatch my my side armor with that huge caliber gun so that's pretty much it for the first game and then you're gonna see here in the second game here this is the game I had this morning uh, this is probably the best game I've ever had in the 215B to be qu quite honest with you uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything but you know Sand River this is another one of those just absolutely fantastic maps uh, you know it's I, I just I, I adore it it's just it's fantastic uh, 
you know it's just you there's a spot for everything as as again but you know the the downside of this map you know artillery is a little bit more it's it's a lot more viable there's a lot less places to hide unless you are on the hill or in one of the small little towns or something like that but as you can see here we are on the night variant and i am playing by myself I, i'm just kind of i was just kind of trying to get some gameplays together for you guys uh, I don't know if I told you I am leaving for Colorado in a couple days, so I will be there for a week and won't be able to, you know, record or get any content together. So I just figured I'm, I'm just trying to get some videos together for you guys, so you guys won't be, you know, you know, parched with content or anything like that. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to keep on a, you know, a two to three day, if not once one video every day kind of thing. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not one of those people that just upload something and then, you know, just kind of forget about it and then live on the glory of that. Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, building my channel is going to come with, you know, a lot of hard work and consistency. So, you know, I'm trying to stick to a pretty pretty finite schedule. And uh, I do apologize for not being able to upload the last couple of days. I've actually been pretty busy with, uh, you know, college stuff. And, uh, you know, I actually, I actually went uh, to Buffalo Wild Wings and watched the uh, the Ronda Rousey fight with the uh, that Brazilian chick or whatever. It's pretty, pretty legit. And then we went bowling afterwards, so that was really fun. But uh, enough about the personal life. So, you know, Sand River, another one of those maps that seriously does tend to tanks with a lot of hold down capabilities and gun depression. Uh, this is, this is, I think, by far my favorite map in the entire game. I absolutely love Sand River. Uh, you know, it's just, it's one of those maps that I've been playing for so long that you pretty much know all the little, like, tips and tricks spots uh, where you can just kind of, you know, outplay your opponents just because you know the... Just because you know those little spots that some people may not know where you can see them. Uh, you know, usually when I'm playing in a platoon, when we were on the assault variant on Sand River, and we spawn in the south, uh, I found we, we, we kind of just like push right up the middle through the river, and then we go to that like F4, F5 area, and you're pretty much already in the base. And then you're able to shoot all those people at like E1, F1, and they can't really do anything about it because they're hold down. Uh, you know, I've been fine. I don't, I don't know how that shot didn't penetrate them. You know, E75 too strong for me but you know it's just knowing all these little spots and i don't know if you guys want me to do like you know m map tutorial videos and stuff like that because i can do that uh you know there's a lot of good spots on some maps that some people may not know of that i could uh you know tell you guys about and uh, i feel like you know knowing the maps and knowing you know just just having pure tank knowledge and map knowledge is really important to getting good at this game as, as, as I've said numerous times before, you know, I'm not some, I've never claimed to be, like, super good or some god of this game. Um, quite far from that. But, you know, I like to think of myself as a decent player and, uh, you know, pretty knowledgeable. So, you know, just passing on knowledge like this can help that, help that, you know, average Joe player that, you know, just, just watches a quick video and then you see, like, oh, wow, that's that spot that I could use with this tank because, uh, you know, I can go hold down or, you know, I've got you know I'm hidden and they can't see me and I'm just sniping them from a distance you know it's just small stuff like that uh, you know I feel really helps uh, players who don't really have as much time as I do to devote to the game just because I've pretty much had this entire summer just to kinda of play tanks and enjoy myself uh, luckily since uh, I pretty much used all my graduation money to pay for my insurance for three months so I don't have to work during the summer I know I'm lazy but you know it's just I feel like you know teaching people this stuff you know it feels really good to you know help the community out and help people out who uh you know don't really have uh you know the map knowledge tank knowledge and stuff like that so that's that's pretty that's why i do these videos and as you can see here uh you know just 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 work in this ridge man as you can see i already have 13 penning shots with only three tanks dead on the other team but you're gonna see here this is another one of those games where the ammo count severely gets in the way of me actually doing what i could have fully done on this map or in this game uh, you're gonna see I'm just kind of I'm just working this ridge making sure I'm hold down and this poor e5 man that 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 turret cupola it's just unbelievably weak uh, you know if you can exploit it it's just brutal for him and I feel bad uh, you know that, that's that's one reason why I do feel that the 2 and 5b uh, you know I know some people are gonna you know get on me for saying that I think the 2 and 5b is better than the e5 but you know here l l let me let me explain myself so the reason that I think that the 2 and 5b is better than the e5 so you've got you've got 300 more hit points, all right. So that's maybe an extra hit, and I got a really lucky bounce right there. But you've got you've got an extra hit from say like a T62A or something like that. You've got you've got a quicker rate of fire than the E5. You've got a better rate of fire, or not? I just said that. You've got better accuracy. You've got a better aim time. 
you also have really good dispersion while on the move. So, you know, when you stop moving to where you go to aim at someone, uh, you know, you're, you, you're not really going to have any issues aiming in on them just because you have a 1.5 second aiming time, and that's just absolutely ridiculous uh, on top of the 0.33 accuracy. I think the E5s is 0 0.34, 0 0.35, so, you know, you do have that, that, that minuscule leg up. Uh, you know, it may not seem like much, but when you're shooting, when you're like chai sniping people like I am right here, uh, it can make the difference as to where you hit the spot where you actually want to and if you do or if you don't. Uh, so, you know, I, you've got the quicker rate of fire, you've got better accuracy, a better aim time. Now, whole armor wise, I would say that the E5, the E5 definitely has the advantage in the armor department and the hull. Uh, now, I would like to reiterate that I think that the 215B's turret is very, very good. Um, I don't know if you guys watched my 215B review video, uh, and then you can see there that, that Tiger 2 was spotted and got me hit there. I wasn't even late. I was kind of kind of pissed off, and that's why I turned around and looked around. But, you know, I, I feel like the, the 215B's turret is really good against people that, uh, you know, that aren't in high tier TDs or like super high pen tank or guns or t in tanks with guns that aren't super high pen. Uh, you know, the, the turret is really nice for stuff like that. And, you know, the E5's turret is a little bit more gold resistant, I feel, except for that cupola. That cupola makes or breaks whether or not people can pen you. And as you can see there, that really nice shot on that T95 there. Uh, I do still want to do those weak spot videos, and that is one of the key points that I want to highlight when I actually do do that T95 video. Uh, just a little side note there. But, you know, the T the, the 215B, it's got the quick rate of fire. Uh, you know, I feel that if you can face hug an E5 and 1v1 him, you're pretty much going to win every time just because you have the quicker rate of fire, you've got better DPM, and then a really nice shot on the T95's hatch there. And then, you know, you do have more hit points, so you can take that extra hit. Uh, and again, you do have the quicker rate of fire. He has that turret hatch that he can't hide. Pretty much all he can do is wiggle it back and forth, and then that's pretty much it. That's all he's got. Uh, you know, the 215B does have the turret hatch, and I feel that the 215B's turret is a lot easier to exploit if you know the weak spots, but, you know, most people don't, and then even if they do, you still have the quicker rate of fire, and you're going to out-DPM them and eventually kill them before they kill you, unless you donk your shots. So that's that's why I feel like the 215B is better. I feel like the gun's more reliable, and I just think it looks fucking badass, man. The 215B just looks fantastic, and as you can see there, absolutely monster of a game. Uh, you know, this is this this is just an absolutely fantastic game. You're gonna see on the scoreboard nine and a half thousand damage. Uh, now that I look back on it, I feel like if I wouldn't have you know wasted some of the shots, I could have had a 10k game, and I could have had a that would have been an amazing game to post. You know, I could have put it in the title. But you know, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, this has been Achilles, and I will catch you guys later.